Howdy, howdy. Welcome to Artfully Sew, where we get creative with our sewing, quilting, and upcycling projects. My name is Angela, and I love to take old things and make them new. Today's project is about taking something that's a little outdated and making it into something fresh and new. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the outfit. It's a jean jumper that I picked up at a thrift store find recently. It's rather dated. If I were to wear this, I, first of all, I'm short. So if I wear a long jumper like this, it just looks, I look really frumpy dumpy. <laughs> Plus this isn't very unique. I want to make it unique. I want to make it something that I love to wear. Um, something that I could actually wear with cowboy boots. So the length has to go. I want it to go, I want it to hit probably just below my knees. The thing that I would like to do with this jumper, here, let me bring it a little closer, you can see. These pockets, I wanna get rid of them. I think if I took them off and did some like strips of chenille, like I've been working with, except for out of jean, and it would kind of maybe look like ruching maybe in the front. The other thing I thought about is I have this, this is just some of the collection of different embroidered treasures that I collect. Oh, oh I see your collection. Mm. Here's one that I pulled out that I thought because of the, the blues. Look at how pretty this is. Maybe I could put this in front like this, half of it on this side like that. And then the other half I would put on this side. The other thing that I found, I have these, my most recent purchases that I found, I just love. Look at this beautiful little, um, you know, people would put these on the arms of chairs or the back of couches or even on desks or dressers for little decorative things. It's so pretty. It's just, and this was only $1.50 and $2 for these two items. I was thinking what I could maybe add that to the back because the back is very blah for the back. Uh, I don't know, it's really stark. Like, I, maybe what I could do, maybe I could um, dye this a denim blue color to kind of mute it a little bit. Oh, and then I can use the other half for a pocket on a pocket. That might look nice. But the other thing I wanna do is get rid of this skirt. I've always wanted to make a circle skirt. I'll go through what a circle skirt is versus this kind of skirt later on. But what I do wanna do instead of just plain the same color denim is I wanna take my scraps and make a patchwork skirt on the bottom. I have all these scraps from various projects that I've done over the years. This is just a handful of the denim and I guess that's corduroy there too. Maybe I'd put that in. Of different jeans and different scraps that I've cut up. I mean, I've got so much here. So I'd love to make use this to make a circle skirt to do on the bottom. I would also like to add a pocket in the front. And maybe that's where I could add the other side of that embroidery on the front, as long as it doesn't look too mm, dated. I'm afraid it, I don't want it to look old. I want it to look fresh and new. So if I dye this a denim color, it will probably look nice. Before we start taking this apart, let's take some time to kind of sketch it out and think about how to lay out the patchwork. But I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be fun. I can't wait. Ah! So the next part was making the pattern for the skirt. I did a lot of research and looked at different videos that showed how to make circle skirts, how to do the math. And honestly, the math is the thing that just always gets me. I am not a math person, but in sewing, it's really important to give myself kind of an idea of what it would look like, I cut out a little mock skirt and I put it on my Donny Osmond doll. 
Yes, I have a Donny Osmond doll from the 1970s with his original purple outfit. Unfortunately, I've lost the socks. Oops. As you can see, when I wrap that skirt around and I leave the squares at the horizontal and vertical straight, it wraps around kind of funny in the front. And when I put the squares on an angle and put them kind of on point diagonally, I really like the look of that skirt a lot better. So I drew up a pattern on some graph paper, highlighting every other square to get an idea of what the skirt would look like. I counted up each row to see how many squares I would need. Some of those rows only had a couple, but the ones in the middle were really long. I added up all of those squares and came up with a total of 132 squares. Each were measuring six and a half inches. Now I had a pattern as a reference for putting all the squares together into the skirt. I figured the skirt would end up being about 26 inches long, hitting just below my knees. Look at all the beautiful shades of denim. Nice contrast between all of those colors. Where I got my math messed up is I did my math thinking that those squares were going to be horizontal and vertical. When you put a square on, an, on a point, it changes the height of the square. So if you have a six inch square and you turn it on point, that, that distance from the top to the bottom on the diagonal is actually more like eight plus inches. So I cut out all of those squares at the six and a half inch size and then realized it's going to be way too long. So I cut those squares down to four and a half inches so that when I put the four and a half inch, it's more like six inches. What happened is I ended up with all these little scraps and I am easily distracted. Squirrel. Well, I'm not only easily distracted, I had another project that I needed to finish quick. It's Nora's birthday coming up and I wanted to make something to go with the present that I got her. I got her this folding piano because she's going to school for music and she's in college right now. It was kind of a bummer that this size didn't come with a carrying bag. I thought, well, why don't I just use those scraps and come up with a design for a bag for Nora for the piano. I just started laying out those scraps. I just quick whipped it up because I needed to get it in the mail today in order for it to be on time for her birthday. So I know this is a video about the Jean remake, but I wanted to show you this too. This bag will be perfect for toting around her portable keyboard. As you can see, I used different parts that I had, of the scraps that I had cut off of the squares that were too big, and I made it into a little bag. And, um, I put a tie here to keep it closed because it's a little loose, but for a quick project, that looks really cute. I used a lot of the same techniques that I use for making my t-shirt tote bags, so I'll put a link for that if you want to check out how I did it there. Okay, we got to get back to the Jean Romper remake. So far with this Jean Jumper, I have started the circle sir the circle skirt and I made it so that it will go exactly around this section of the jean jumper romper what is this a jean jumper jean romper jean dress I don't know what I'm realizing especially from making that project for Nora is that as you layer jeans they get thicker and it's harder to sew um, I am being very careful about cutting the corners and making sure things layer up right, but I'm still going to have a lot of bulk here. Sewing denim together makes the seams really thick, but ironing them really helps flatten them out. I used the pattern to figure out how to sew the rows together. The first row had three squares, the second row had four squares, and so on. 
As I join the rows, I clip the seams together with my favorite clover clips before sewing them to make sure they stacked nicely. I put the squares together kind of randomly, but I did my best to alternate the lights with the darks. So you see this edge, I'm gonna remove the skirt off of there. This button down strip, I was thinking about removing that and adding it to my circle skirt. The part that I dreamed about this morning, because I spent a lot of time thinking about my projects, it's a cycle cat. <laughs> yes, you are cycle. Well, come here. Brr. Anyway, what I was saying is, is that I was having a lot of frustration with my serger yesterday. Um, I don't know if I need to get it serviced or, or what's going on, but um, one of the threads just kept breaking. I messed with the tension and I re-oiled it and did all this stuff and it's still not working great. So usually I'd love to take care of that with my serger, but I'm having all these raw edges. So I don't know, I have to think about what I wanna do. I did get a lot of response from the survey I sent out as far as which design you liked better. Hi there, artfully so friends. I need your help. So what design do you pick for the top? This cross stitch linen or some jean chenille it? Tell me which design you like better in the comments below. Thanks for your help. Most people pick this design which I do like, but I feel like it's too bright. So I could dye it that denim color. I know some of you are screaming, no, no! Trust me, it might look really nice. Because when you think about the patchwork skirt, it just would maybe pull it together more. All right, time to start ripping. <laughs> on the skirt because it wasn't long enough. Let's see, this is the center and I want the top to come along here. Are you helping, Kitty? I think I already gave a lot of allowance at the bottom. I think you need to cut off a couple inches. Normally with this kind of pattern, I would fold it in half and cut it, but because these pieces, the seams are really thick, I wanna make sure that I have it measured correctly by doing it single instead of folded and cutting on through two, two layers. Well, it looks like I'm gonna to have to add some more on that side and, oh my gosh, everybody's getting excited. It's okay. It's hard to do projects with pets. I need to add one more on that corner and like two or three on this side. Yet, on second thought, since I'm gonna be cutting some of these out, I'm just gonna wait and use some of the scraps. I'm just gonna cut it out. Be bold. <coughs> I almost cut right down the edge. I am not kidding you. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't. Ah! See, these can go on the edges. Oh. Great. I just watered this plant and now I have dirt on my new skirt. Good thing it's jeans and washable. That would look nice there. <laughs> it 
It's gonna be so cool. I'm a very visual person. So now let's see if how this will look. If this is the front minus the dirt and its buttons, how will that look? Okay, um, one thing I do need to do before I go any further is I want to stay, like put a straight stitch, just like an eighth of an inch along here because what happens this is a circle and it's going to start stretching and growing and growing in size we do not want this to change the size so that's the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go stay stitch the edge and then i'm going to see what it looks like on mrs woodwire the next day there's the patchwork skirt that goes to the top right there i'm not excited about the way that this looks um, I kind of pinned it to it to see how it hung and it just looks a little baggy. Like I think I just need to put a couple more darts in here. Otherwise it's going to look too frumpy. The problem is, is if I put darts in here, I'm going to have to put darts in there. I'm just going to kind of play around and see what I can find. Ooh. Ooh. Kitty kitty is scaring me. The birdies. <laughs> See how much better this looks? Fitted. Okay, so I did do the two darts here. I took in the sides and then I also added a dart here. It feels so much better. It's not gonna be so frumpy. Um, now what I need to do is I need to take this. As you can see, this was a rectangle shape versus a circle skirt. <laughs> um, remember that this is usually the back side with a zipper. I'm going to put it on the front so that I can take the buttons off of this front and add it to the front here. I also need to finish off the edge at the bottom. I need to decide if I'm going to line it because these being unfinished because I my serger wasn't working great. There's there's going to be frayed edges. Overall, I'm really happy with how this works. Okay, other things I'm considering. And most of you picked this, but I can tell you that now that I have it on here, I just think it looks too <coughs> Which basically means too stark. So, what if? What if I dyed it the denim blue? Otherwise, I still, I could leave the pockets. I don't want to leave the pockets. Um, so I'm gonna have to remove those and maybe this dyed blue or I could do that chenille strips I was talking about. I don't know. Well, for now I'm gonna cut out the buttons to add to the front and I'm gonna have to hem, do the hem so that's all the same length. Well, here's the process so far. I took your advice and I did add the kind of cross stitch on the top part. Um, it was a little tricky fitting it in here. What I did is I cut the piece in half. I opened it up here, sewed it along the edge and then folded it over and sewed along the edge there to attach it on each side. As you can see, the skirt is attached. I also did add a lining on the inside so that the cut um, denim will be contained inside of that lining. Um, I was able to also add the button strip. It turned out to be shorter than I wanted it to be. It comes to just about my knees and I wanted it just a little bit longer than that. And when I put it on Mrs. Woodwire here, I noticed her skirt looks pretty cool underneath there. I was thinking if I took the edge off of that and put it on here, that would look really nice. Um, I would want to dye this though, this denim color. 
It's just that I, do, I like this skirt on Mrs. Woodwire. I have another option. I found this tablecloth in my drawer of special <laughs> linens and things. And I'm wondering if the edge of this would work for the edge of the, of the skirt. It's already a circle, so I would be able to add it to the skirt here. I would want to dye this the denim color. The thing I'm concerned about is that this is a poly blend and I'm not sure it's gonna take the dye. If it doesn't work, I think I might use this skirt and see if I can find something else for Mrs. Woodwire to wear. I'm gonna think about it a little bit and maybe experiment with some dye and see what happens. I know, Stella, it's a big decision. Hi, Stella. Hello. Well, I did try this skirt and it's not long enough. This is a half circle skirt. This is not quite half circles. Um, what I did do is I went into my drawer of linens and I tried to see if I could find something that would work. First thing that I found was this um, trim that I had actually used when I was a costumer for one of the plays. And I don't really care, I don't know, it's long enough. It's just, I don't think it will look that great on there. The next thing I found was this um, scarf that I used to use. I wore this a lot when, you know, scarves were more popular, I guess. This is long enough, but again, this is polyester. If I try to dye this, it won't take. The other thing I found, which I really, really like, is this, um, I don't know if this is crochet. I think it's crochet. The problem with this is this is like six inches too short. So I'd be like three inches on this side, three inches on that side, too short. I don't know, there's no give in here. This is like tight. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this inside out and pin them to kind of audition them and see which one I like better. I'm not even gonna use this one. I don't like this one at all. It's kind of between these two. I'm also going to add these pockets in the front. This is the other piece that's on the back. So I could put it on one and leave the other pocket just plain. Otherwise, I was thinking I could still dye this and put that one on the front of this. So still thinking, trying to decide. Today's my day off from work, so that's why I look kind of frumpy dumpy today. Well, I'm gonna pin it on, here I go. Okay guys, I really like this. This is on the, I pinned it to the lining versus the outside edge of the skirt. I am toying around the idea of trying to dye and see if any of the dye can take, but I really, really like the lace. I'm not even gonna try this one. I think this will feel too heavy. I'm gonna research dyeing polyester fabric. I'm going to try using this on my polyester. I put some salt in here, I'm using heat. I have gotten both of these things wet. Um, so now I'm gonna add the dye. You should be wearing gloves, but you know, I'm not. <laughs> so I'll stir that up a little bit. And these are tools that I will not use on food any longer. This spoon, I actually got it good well. Now I'm gonna add my fabric. Now let's see what the polyester does. And you see how it's dripping because I got it all wet first. Oh, oh it's turning colors. I'm so excited. Coming up next, the reveal. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and tell me your favorite part of this video in the comments below. So what do you do with an outdated 90s jean dress? 
while you remake it into something new. I took piles and piles of jean scraps and cut them out and made this beautiful circle skirt that I replaced for the old boxy rectangle skirt that was originally on this dress. I'm so glad I went with the circle design. It really adds a nice shape to the dress and gives it a nice updated look. Look at all the different ways I can style this new look of this jean dress. I think my favorite way to wear it is with the black because the black brings out all the deep dark colors of the denim and is a nice complement color to that denim blue. In this outfit, I added this jean hat that I found at Goodwill that I washed up and I think it looks really cute and looks kind of funky. So many different ways to wear this new outfit. This dress took me a long time to make. Usually I try to get projects done in a couple weeks, but honestly this one took me a couple months. It, and it took a long time to edit the video down to just a half an hour. But I hope that in the process, you see that it's okay to make mistakes. I did mess up my math when I was figuring out the squares, but if I hadn't have messed up my math, I wouldn't have been able to make that fun project for Nora. My mistake inspired me to make something else. And even though my surgery was frustrating and my pets kept getting in my way. <laughs> the one thing though, stop, leave them alone. I was able to take some risks and be bold in my creation and process and it really paid off. As you are making projects, give yourself some grace. And if you make mistakes, that's a good thing. Your mistake is gonna lead to something new if you just keep sewing. <laughs> Thank you to all my regular watchers and subscribers for all the wonderful comments. I see you and you brighten my day and inspire me to keep going. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, you can artfully sew. Goodbye. Since I had so much fun making the circle skirt for this dress, my next video is going to be about making a circle skirt out of this circle tablecloth. Isn't it pretty? I think it would look nice for Christmas, don't you? So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next project. Okay, bye-bye.